Wine cellars started out as underground caves, which is pretty unglamorous compared to what we use today. I mean, come in here. Look at this. Wine cellars are a symbol of luxury. They're absolutely beautiful. And no one knows wine cellars better than Wine Cellar Innovations. The company has become the world's foremost manufacturer and designer of custom wine cellars. And today, their Vice President of Operations is going to set me straight on my wine cellar basics. I'm hitting the road, searching for answers, and finding great design. It's a quest for beauty, function, and of course, inspiration. When I said wine cellars are modeled after underground caves in Europe, you didn't hear me wrong. The conditions found in the underground caves are the same ones found in wine cellars today. The underground caves is the temperature you're trying to replicate in your wine cellar. So what we're looking for is 55 degrees, uh, actually between 55 and 58, and then your relative humidity between 55 and 75 percent. But just because you're trying to recreate the conditions of a cave doesn't mean it can't be beautiful. People, uh, when they're building a large wine cellar, it's also kind of a statement about themselves. They do a lot of neat accents to wine cellars as far as, you know, adding artistic elements. Planning the decor of your wine cellar is the fun part, but before you start, there are many technical details you must address. Turning a room of your home into a giant refrigerator requires more work and planning than you would imagine. And one of those things you should think about is the type of door you will need. Uh, you need to make sure you use an exterior grade door because again you're building an environment where it's one temperature and humidity on this side of the door and another on the other side. So instead of using an interior door, we have that gap underneath. You need an exterior grade door sealed all the way around with uh, a sweep on the bottom. In addition to choosing the right door, you also need to pay attention to the type of lighting used in your wine cellar. Um, there is some concern that ultraviolet light will harm wine for long-term storage, so you want to make sure you don't use ultraviolet lights in your wine cellar. Did uh, you use special types of lights, like fluorescence versus, I guess, um, incandescent or? Right. For accent lighting, we normally use LEDs. Uh, one, because they last so long, between 50 to 100,000 hours, uh, and number two, because they don't have any UV uh, rays in them. And then, as far as uh, lighting, if you're using like a recessed can, you have to use an IC can. Uh, and that means it can be insulated around because you don't want a hot light in a cold room or it'll condensate. While choosing the type of lighting might be a tad on the tedious side, those who love decorating will enjoy choosing the type of floor. Just make sure you avoid vinyl and carpeting. You don't want to go with obviously something like a vinyl base, uh, or excuse me, vinyl uh, flooring because uh, with the high humidity in a wine cellar, it'll get underneath there and um, you're, it'll start to bunch up. Um, the second, second one you want to avoid at all costs is carpet. Uh, number one, because your carpet tack going around the perimeter will interfere with uh, your wine racks. You might have a problem with it leaning forward. A uh, second problem is if the carpet stains and you get tired of it and you want to replace it, well you can't because you're not going to be able to get it out from underneath the wine racks. Um, so those are two floors you want to avoid. Uh, and the, again, the three most common are the uh, hardwood floors, your porcelain tiles, and cork. Other than the built-in features in wine cellars, there are many extra decorative accessories to consider, and one of the best types is decorative fountains that not only look beautiful, but also help to increase the humidity in your wine cellar, which is an important factor when creating those cave-like conditions. While fountains are a good decorative accessory in a wine cellar, a large dining room table isn't the best idea. I've seen pictures that people, they'll put their dining room tables or they'll put a tasting table inside the wine cellar. Yes. And if it's at 55 degrees, does it get really chilly in there? Do you need to wear a coat? Uh, it absolutely gets cold in there. Uh, we found a lot of people do request that in their designs room um, for that. Normally we try and steer people clear of that um, because many people have come back to us and said, yeah, I tried that. We had like two, three parties in there and it was just so cold we stopped doing it. But don't get discouraged. If you really want the view of your wine cellar, there's a way to do it. An interesting thing people have recently been doing is actually building glass partitions around that room. Um, so we've been having people build a glass room inside their wine cellar so the racking's all around them and they have a temperature controlled space all by itself that they can have at dinner party. Oh, that's incredibly smart. Regardless of how you build your wine cellar, it's going to be beautiful. After all, the objects you're storing are pretty enough in themselves. For extra information about where I've been and what I've learned, visit my website, www.askthedecorator.com.